had a good third one. Not a bad second. He knew that the single 16 would have left him the ball. Another 180. And uh, that's the fourth 180 that Jenkins has hit since they came back from the break. His fifth in all. And we thought Schott would be ploughing them in. Yeah, you can see it there. Five on 80s to uh, two against Shelton. The 140s, though, on Shelton. You know, sometimes in this game, it's the 140s that are going to make you. And as you see there, Roland is querying that if the point is touching the board, it has to count. And Although it's furnished, not sticking in. In fairness, Bruce Bendley looked very, very carefully at that and uh, had to make his decision. He came up with it. He's been around a while, as <laughs> you can see. Good lad, Bruce. Great referee. Nice guy. 55. Yeah, all the referees are great for what they have to, you know, the players have been complaining about the heat, but uh, just take what the chalkers and the callers have to do. They have to stand there dead straight. They can't have a sip of water when they walk back or anything, and, uh, you know, and they never make, well, hardly any mistakes at all. Well, I hope Roland tells me that joke after the game's over, because something's amused him. Uh, he and Jenkins get on very well, don't they? Well, I don't know anybody who doesn't get on 43. with you. Um, he certainly tells you if he doesn't want to get on with you. Where Roland just... Uh, he's a funny guy, Roland. He moans a lot. He's phoned me up last Thursday and asked me if I'd booked his hotel for him, which is nice a day before you do to come up. <laughs> and had you? Of course not. Well, he hadn't asked me. <laughs> ah, that's why he's in that £15 a night bed and breakfast well, across the road, is it? And he require 167. Nothing wrong with 15 pounds a night bed and breakfast in Blackpool. 139. Great darts, great darts. 28 left. Could be five apiece any time now. But there could be a touch of pressure on the shot. Just 138. And well, it's hardly pressure, really. It's double seven. Touch awkward. And maybe more so now. Yes, outside chance for Shelton here. Yeah, it certainly is. It was unusual. Perhaps Andy would have been better go for the 48 treble 16 to leave a better shot than the 28. Shelton now wanting the treble 20. No, nowhere near it. Jenks knows he's got three darts, two darts at a double, one to seven. 87. And he requires seven. Five score. Well, we've seen Shelton hit that on two occasions, but now Roland, you require 51. it should be 19 for double 16 to yeah, go. Two legs ahead of the break. Roland he was shot. given that leg by Jenkins' inability to pin the outer tram line. Daylight here in Blackpool as Shelton leads six legs to four. Well, I'm sitting alongside uh, twice former world uh, match play champion Ron Mannington play. here and uh, enjoying Roland. this game between this man, the Dutchman, Roland Shelton. Plague from the Hague, Sid calls him, and at the moment he's something of a plague to Jenkins. 19. Winning that last leg when really, Rod, Jenkins ought to have won it. He was so far ahead, you could not really see him losing it. 100. No, you couldn't, but uh, that tenth leg again, like in a good few other games, means so much. It meant that Roland went in two legs clear instead of level pegging. And Corsi's come straight out with the throw, and if he can take this, then he's got this little gap that you need to get, you know, in front of your opponent, and uh, then you pressure him to try and follow you all the time. You have to remember 99. that uh, Jenkins got off to a terrific start, two legs up. Now he's two legs down. So uh, Cholton, in fact, has won six out of the last eight legs. And that, despite the fact that Jenkins has hit five 180s, and Cholton now, with that one, is hit three. 59. Certainly Jenkins has outscored Shelton up to now, but Shelton has the better checkout stats. Just six out of 17. Jenkins four out of 14. 
We're in again. 140. Yeah, that actually sets it up probably better than double four. Comes back and throws, throws Dart just inside double 16, but Jenkins could follow it. 121. Well, he was rather a long way off with the last, wasn't he? I have expected it would at least appear on the screen. That's 48 for Shelton. Means double 16 for a 14 dart. Oh, what a lovely leg. Absolutely Robinson. superb. Three on the trot. And Jenkins would have been hoping to be able to break back straight away uh, after the break, but there was no way Shelton was going to let him. 60. You know, well, that's Roland all over. He, you know, he has got the scoring power and he needs to hit the uh, double, like Eric said. He does seem to fall down on his doubles, but uh, at a very crucial time in the game, he uh, certainly pinned that. 125. 134. This is Roland Shelton's 12th match at Blackpool. Over the course of uh, six previous years, that tells you uh, itself that he hasn't really advanced far previously. 78. This will be his best effort so far should he win this game. The remarkable thing is, uh, Rod, is that all 12 100. games have been against a different opponent. And uh, perhaps that's a touch unusual with Cap Light Trevor. The policeman. And in town, and on it! He loves it in those! His fourth. Well, you said it, John. If Roland gets into these little spurts, which he has done in his last two legs, he's putting pressure on Andy, and Andy can't afford this early on in the game to get another breakdown. 118 for Shelton. Treble 20 is his first target. Side treble 14 here, Rod. 82. Bullseye's the shot. There's no question about that. Bullseye's got to be the shot. Looks like he's going for treble 20. I think he's miscounted. He's certainly miscounted. 96. Well, he's left himself and 20. He requires 70. 22, hasn't he? Yes. So here we go. 20 for double 16. Got to get this. Can't afford to lose this leg. Oh, that's class. In fairness, that was right in the meat of the double 16.